tonight. Thousands march from the UW campus to the steps of our state capitol tonight, raising voices of frustration. The student organized march drew in students and visitors from across the state. NBC 15 Syra Onward joins us with the latest from the march. John and Lee, Madison now joins a growing list of cities holding demonstrations tonight. Madison police roughly estimate more than 2,500 people attended the Storm the Capitol march. It began with a rally on Bascom Hill, then marched to the Wisconsin State Capitol with rallying stops along the way. The people united will never be defeated. Post-election protest has made its way to Madison. It was just something we put together yesterday out of grief and out of confusion and out of sadness, and somehow it sprung into a march that over 4,000 people have responded to on Facebook. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Addressing issues of race. How can we as American people let him represent all of us? Liberty. It makes the mockery of democracy and the American dream, which so many have fought and died for. Religion. And sexuality. My choice. Organizers say they wanted a space to reflect and discuss their discontent with the election outcome. People are really upset about the outcome of this election and people are hurting, people are confused and they really need a safe space to come together and be with like-minded individuals and heal. We're here to just say that we're going to move on somehow, but for tonight we're going to focus on how our Supporting each other. Kerwin says the intention of the march was not to reverse the election outcome, but rather for their concerns to be addressed by a Trump presidency. Tonight, we are accepting that Donald Trump will be inaugurated as president on January 20th, 2017, but he must be um, inaugurated under our demands because we have won the popular vote. And so we deserve a piece of this presidency and we deserve our voices to be heard. UW police say the march wrapped up tonight without incident. Close to 3,000 people RSVP'd to the event on Facebook, which is organized in just over 24 hours.